Eagle Nation. February 5th is around the corner. And for those who don't know, that is the Senior Bowl. Well, last year, the Eagles loved it. They also loved it the last couple years. Can we see a future Eagle play on Saturday? This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast. And today, we are going to talk about some of the low-tier and the high-tier prospects that will play in the Senior Bowl on February 5th. We're also going to give you some of the guys that Philly Mike is looking at, not necessarily saying, we got to go draft them. I want to see how they perform low-tier, high-tier in the Senior Bowl. Also, the Eagles' history with the Senior Bowl is kind of crazy, but before we get into all that, Eagle Nation – Help your boy out and hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new and ding that notification bell so you know when these videos drop. Hit it with the roots. Get that roots going, baby! Roots on three! One, two, three, roots! So let's jump into this history when it pertains to the Eagles looking at the Senior Bowl. The Eagles have drafted a lot of players from the Senior Bowl before. Since Howie Roseman regained control of personnel, Back in 2016, the Eagles have drafted 45 players, and 16 of them have been on a senior bowl roster. That means 35.6% of the players we have drafted since 2016 have been on the senior bowl roster. So could we see a future Eagle play this Saturday? And I'm not talking about, well, that means we're going to see a first-round pick go to somebody from the senior bowl. It could be a late round pick, second, third. It could be a sleeper pick, fourth, fifth, sixth. But it does look like somebody on that roster, on both sides of the ball, or for both teams, could be playing for the Eagles in 2022. Let's take a look at what we did last year when it comes to the Senior Bowl. But there was different circumstances, right? COVID was big and it hurt scouting. Some people didn't even play. So let's look. With no combine last year, the Eagles scouted the Senior Bowl very thoroughly in 2021, interviewing every player down there. So it was no surprise when five of their nine picks came from this event. Devontae Smith, Landon Dickerson, Marlon, y'all can say his last name in the comment section, Teron Jackson, and Jacoby Stevenson. So again, last year was a little different, but our first and second round pick went from Alabama guys who played in the Senior Bowl. Then we got, like, the later round picks, Jacoby Stevens, uh, Teron Jacksons. They were, what, the 6th, 7th pick? 6th, 7th round pick? So we did waste some uh, lower-level picks on guys that might have upside. And we've seen, you know, a little bit of upside from these guys, whether it's special teams or a rotational piece in Marlin. Well, we got to see more. Actually, Teron Jackson has did some stuff uh, throughout the season for us. So we will see where that goes. Now, I want to talk about a couple guys, right? There's more guys. I don't want to name them all. Let me know in the comment section who's the guys you want to see. Now, Devin Lloyd was supposed to play the linebacker that we all want to talk about. Nicobe Dean, Lloyd, that video's coming. I'm just getting everything from this video because I want to go all out for you guys. But I want to talk about some upper tier and lower tier, all different positions. And there's going to be more. I might make one more video like this. But let's start with the first one, and that is defensive end Jermaine Johnson out of FSU. This is what they wrote on the article. He looks like a guy who wants to be a top 15 pick in this draft. Uh, Brugler said praising Johnson for his relentless power and attitude. There's nuance to what he's doing from a pass rush plan of attack. When you put it all together, if you're a blocker in space, one-on-one, -on -one, you say a prayer before going out against Jermaine Johnson. You got to love that. I think he has a high motor. Uh, Cowboy fans are actually talking about this guy falling to him. I'm not saying we got to take him in the 15th, but if he goes out and plays dominant in the senior bowl, 
and it shows what he did for FSU, and then he goes out and measures the right way. We are looking for a defensive end, and there's a couple of them out there, right? We know the guy from Michigan, the guy from Purdue, the guy from the Nitty Lions, Penn State, who actually is the second guy I'm going to be looking at in this bowl game. Arnold um, Abiketi, y'all know I'm horrible with names, uh, Abiketi, defensive end from Penn State. He's an import, he is an import from Cameroon, uh, Cameroon, who originally enrolled at Temple, where he didn't play much in his first two seasons, but had 42 tackles, four sacks, and three forced fumbles during the COVID shortened 2020 season. He transferred to Penn State in 2021, and he had 62 tackles, 18 for loss, nine and a half sacks, two forced fumbles, and two block kicks in his lone season with the Nitty Lions. He had a nice assortment of pass rush moves and had a great bend for a player thought to be early in his development. So one of these guys who the ceiling's not reached at all, he got much more potential. I know Philly Fresh is high on him, and we're going to start breaking down tape on these guys, right? We're going to do draft profiles, but I do want to get some of the senior ball out the way. I want to get free agency out the way because we are going to play in the free agency, and then we're going to go heavy on the profiles, cons, weakness, pros, strengths, all that stuff. Let's look at the next guy. Now we're going to go to some lower tier, another defensive end I want to look at, and that is Dominique Robinson, edge out of Miami. A tremendous story as Robinson was a high school quarterback who started his college career at wide receiver before transitioning to pass rusher in 2020. Wow. Uh, Burglar noted that uh, how Robinson is a twitched up athlete who challenged a corner on every play. Tuesday, um, he looks like a pass rusher who has been doing it for a long time. He had it. Now, these are scouts talking about, you know, I got it from different articles, some from just what they did in the uh, college season and some of how they looked at them warming up for the senior bowl because today they had a practice, a little walkthrough, a warm-up, blah, 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 blah. But we're going to get to see all the action on Saturday. This is a guy I want to keep my eye on. Another guy is... Chad Mumma, linebacker out of Wyoming. And you're like, linebacker, hold up, Mike. We're going to get Dean, N'Kobe Dean, or Devin Lloyd. And I think we have a shot. I really, really do. I think how he opened his eyes to linebacker after watching Michael Parsons. But for some reason, if we don't go there, maybe this is a guy we can look at in the second or third round. I'm not sure where he's going to land, but I just want to watch him because he's a linebacker playing in this uh, upcoming ball game. Mama lit up the stat sheet in 2021, racking up 142 tackles, more than 10 per game, and three interceptions, two of which were pick sixes in 13 games. He has instinct, speed, and some pop. Intriguing day two possibility for the Eagles. There you go. That is for the Eagles they're talking about because they don't believe we're going to go linebacker in the first. Um, another guy I want to look at is Darren uh, Kennard, a guard slash tackle out of Kentucky. Kennard is a big and powerful offensive tackle with versatility to play both guard and tackle. Considered the leader of Kentucky's blue wall offensive line, Kennard has 39 consecutive starts and was credited with 30 knockdown blocks in 2021. He has a great chance to show teams that he can be a starter at multiple positions this week at the bowl. And 39 consecutive starts is what I want to hear for an offensive lineman. We need that Jason Kelsey type player who never misses time. You know what I mean? And again, these are not me saying let's go draft these guys. I just want to watch and see. Let me know in the comment section who you want to watch from the senior bowl. Now we got a wide receiver. Trey Turner. This is for the later rounds. Wide receiver out of Virginia Tech. Turner is a long and athletic receiving prospect who is surprisingly uh, electric with the ball in his hands. He's somewhat raw from a technical aspect. You're like, well, we don't need any of that. I want a longer guy, though. As a receiver, he was something of a afterthought in Virginia Tech's run first offense. However, his ability to create yards after the catch is intriguing, and he has the potential to be a threat at all areas of the field with some development. He also already a very good blocker, which should boost his value. Again, this is someone I might take a sleeper on, cough, cough, like a quez, uh, but I just want to see how he plays in the big bowl game. Now let's flip it over to defense. Cornerback Roger McCreary. 
a cornerback out of Auburn. Um, Auburn didn't have a great season this year, but they uh, fielded a great secondary in 2021. This is a very deep, talented draft when it comes to the defensive secondary, and McCreary has the potential to be as good as anyone in the class. He has good size, great athleticism, and ability to be a number one corner in any coverage scheme. So he's versatile, can play both man and zone. And again, if these guys do what I think they can do in the bowl, and if I am really looking at these guys later, whether it's a third round, and when we do that, I'm going to tell you where I feel they could be drafted. I'm not going to be right. Y'all might not be right. I might be right. Y'all might be right. But we're going to guess this stuff together, whether it's mock drafts or draft profiles. And for those who are following me new, you didn't see it, but I did that last year. Um, last but not least, another corner, Kobe Bryant. And, of course, it's not spelled with the K-O-B-E. And shout out to the late, great Kobe. But this is the cornerback out of Cincinnati. Uh, we know Cincinnati means sauce, Garner. But let's look at Bryant as well, though he shares a name with one of the most beloved athletes in our last quarter century. Different spelling. Um, he's a decorated player in his own right. He won the Thorpe Award as the top defensive back in college football in 2021, finishes, finishing his career with 10 interceptions and 35 pass breakups. Again, go out, show me what you can do Saturday against some of the seniors of college and some guys who are going to make the NFL, and then I'll feel pretty good. But these are some of the guys I just want to see play Saturday. Maybe I'll stream the game. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to stream the Senior Bowl. We'll look at them all and talk our talk live throughout the game. But let me know the guys you want to see. And again, free agency's coming up. We're going to have my top five free agent targets. That won't consider any position. It will be a free fall. Defensive end, wide receiver, linebacker, this, that, and the third. We can name them all. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast. If you are new to the channel, make sure you do all that. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. And that bell right there is very important so you can be part of the notification gang. And let me give a shout-out to my guy, Philly Fresh. Yo, that. Go get that merch.